I can't wait for Shido's new administration. He will improve a mock. He will comedy and mock it. And market will improve. Hold on, I gotta take a picture of the date for the thing I'm doing on Discord. I went to listen to Shido San's speech. I was really moved. His words really resonated with me. Hope he keeps fighting, fighting and doesn't let the slander get to him. You mean that broadcast hijack hoax? The only attack Shido San. They only attack Shido San because of how charismatic he is. <laughs> slander and a hoax, eh? Well, they'll hear the truth from Shido himself. And they'll learn the truth behind his char charisma. And how he only interested in his own self-preservation. People are just tools to him. Father. I'm fighting against the injustice just like you did. So watch over me, okay? Aww. Aww, that's sad. Dead parents. <laughs> only thing left, wait for the outcome. Ten more days. Uh, who wants to hang out? Haru? Fuck, God damn it! No one? Uh, I guess. Why not hang out with Shinya? Alright, why not? I don't mind hanging out with him. His stuff is pretty useful as well. It'd be useful for the final, 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 final boss. Yeah, if, if you couldn't guess, the game's not over yet. The flu, the flu is going around at school. I'll be fine though because I washed my hands and got what? What? <laughs> okay. Are you gonna train today? I can teach you a bunch of stuff. Uh, study under him. Hey. By the way, have you eaten yet, Kanaksan? I'm starving, but the hunger doesn't really bother me when I'm playing. Um. Are you hungry? Let's go eat. Fuck that. Let's go eat something. Why would you starve yourself? You're a kid. Who who the fuck ain't feeding you? Also, Shinya is actually really chill. I actually do like him. Yeah. There you go. Uh, fuck it. I'm going to say let's go really? eat anyway. What, are you sure? Yeah. I'll feed ya. It's not like I have like a bank account in my pocket or anything. All right, today's training will be a lecture. If you pay for my meal, of course, <laughs> you can have the course for free. Okay. Uh, I'm not down with that. Let me think about it. <laughs> okay. I get my meal and your training, so we're Let's both happy. Go. Now stop wasting time and take me to a place to eat. What do you want to eat, dude? I'll, I'll feed ya. Phew. Phew, I'm stuffed. Hold on. I gotta fix my audio for the millionth time in this recording session. Phew, I'm stuffed. I gotta eat good because I'm fighting a war. What? Then I tell you, I've been having serious battles with kids at school. They attack me in large numbers, so I can't well. let my guard down. All they did today was throw extra crumbs into my lunch, though, so I won that round. Are they bullying you? Sounds like fun. You shouldn't waste food. Are they bullying you? It's a war. I'm in a defensive right now, but I'm looking for a chance to counterattack. I could finish them in a second if I put my mind to it. It's just that now's not a great time. Aww. It gets kind of annoying how to watch my back all the time, though. Maybe I can ask the fan of these to take care of them. Sob, sob. Your food is here, sweetheart. Well, today you lost. That means you have to try harder next time. Now eat up and feel better. You're not mad? Of course not. You did your best. That's all that counts. Now no more crying. Wrong. What a joke. Once you lose, it's over. That's what my mom told me. Damn. So my mom's fighting with my school. About how classes are taught, how the way teachers treat students, and the size of the classes. Hey! Since the oh, rip. Since the divorce, my mom's been taking care of me all by herself. She says it's exhausting. She leaves really early to go to work and comes home really late to take care of me. So no wonder she demands so much from the school, you know. But all of my classmates make fun of her and call her a complainer. When I tell them to stop, they call me a mommy's boy. That's how the war started. So they are bullying you. My mom gets made fun of because I'm weak. That's why I gotta get stronger. That's the spirit. Thanks. Well, the fan thieves, well, the fan thieves would laugh at me if I lost now. But I've got a long way to go. Oh, before I forget, I need to show you something. <laughs> Please don't tell anyone about this, okay? I'm gonna show you a guaranteed way to win. Feels like my bond with Shinya is going deeper. Warning shot, able to scare enemies in a negotiation to make it easier to attain a persona. Alright. 
that's also really useful. I wish I, because you can basically say, fuck negotiations, fire a warning shot. <laughs> I wish I could be a member of the Phantom Thieves and help them defeat the bad guys in the world. Kind of late, I guess I should go home. All right. Just fucking shoot at them. That was the lecture. Just shoot at them. Just shoot at them. That will make people do your bidding. <laughs> Thanks for the food later. Yo, what up? Oh, thanks for the food earlier. I guess that's kind of trading, technically. We talked a bunch about me today, so you gotta tell me about the Phantom Thieves next time. Maybe we can go out to eat again or something while we're at it. Sure. Really? Thanks. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I went out to eat with anyone but my mom. Okay, let's go get some hamburger steak next time. It's my favorite food. I kind of think of it. Mom hasn't made hamburger steak in a while either. She seems super busy, so I'm not not much I can do, I guess. I wonder if she's coming home late again tonight. Okay, bye, Canuck. I'll see you at the arcade. All right. Evening. Ah, oh, you're, you're back. back. Help me out. Will you rank up, you son of a bitch? You better fucking rank up, I swear to god. Are you joking? You motherfucker! <laughs> you refuse! I've hung out with you twice! And done this twice, and you still won't rank up! You petty little bitch! Get a fortune reading! You motherfucker, you are going to rank up, and you are going to like it. I've done this twice! This is gonna be the third time I've done this for you. Wait, hold on, I'm, huh? wait, I, I did click Iowa, right? Iowa, Iowa. Hangman. Fucking goddamn. Here we go. I don't. I have ten more days to get you to rank up fully. What do you think? And I can only hang out with you at night. You little shit. There you go. <laughs> Finally. God damn. I was about to lose it if he wouldn't do it. If he wouldn't rank up. Uh, actually, fuck it. Hold on. I'm going to go to Yogan, Yogan Jaya for a second. Uh, laundry mat. Kawakami, can you wash some of my clothes, please? Okay. Mm. One wash. Call Kokami. Hi. <sighs> Go right away. Hurry up. You little shit. Refuse to rank up. God you better not damn. Give that shit to my customer. Oh. Hey, a flu's going around. Maybe I'll put dust mask on sale. Oops. So you're here because you saw my message, right? I want to shop for a second. Yo. I know I just was shopping not too long okay. ago, but let's just do a quick check on stuff I could sell. Uh, high fidelity for real audio files. I think this was uh, Futaba's and this was Haru's. Formal necklace. Yeah, I have a bunch of stuff. Also, I am keeping that for a reason. Regent R. Will gem then powers its owner. Oh, whatever. Uh, come again. What's up? Want to work? I got a security escort task for you. This is something I can only trust to you. Will you take care of it for me? If you like my bomb, I will go stronger soon. Nobody thinks you're alive at this point. Do you want to do some sketchy shit? All right. <laughs> God damn it. Do you want to do some sketchy shit? Oh, God damn. That's that's horrible, honestly. Hang out with him. Good. The person who'll be escorting is Karu. Get to the dinner with him at Shibuya. Get dinner with him at the diner in Shibuya. He'll take her some business to the. Yeah, okay. My dad was really late. He's the one who asked us here too. You know, it's pretty rare for him to invite people out like this. He must see something in you, Kanakson. I doubt he'd ever actually admit it though. Um, by the way, has he said anything to you about me weighing him down? No, not even close. 
to be honest, he's been acting super weird recently. More than anything, he seems stressed out. I've even heard him mentioning my name on the phone a few times. But even then, every time I've, I've gone to ask him about it, he told me it's nothing to worry about. I don't know, it makes me feel anxious somehow. I mean, we're supposed to be family. I'm not sure how to know this. I'm not sure if you know this, but he's not my real father. He took me in and my parents died in a car crash. Apparently, he was good friends of theirs. Honestly, I can't remember a single thing about them. I wonder if my dad even considers me a part of his family. He definitely does. Yes, I know. He fucking loves you, dude. You think so? Hey, you seen that? Now that I think about it, um, have you seen his tattoo? Like, the... The, yeah, the gecko. I was about to say a chameleon, but it's a gecko. The gecko on his neck. The truth is, I have a really bad scar in the same spot from my parents' car crash. Yeah, he was in the car with the with his parents when he died, so... They died, so that's fucked. Back when I was a kid, everyone always picked on me for it. My dad would come home and find me in tears. That's why he's got that tattoo. He said it could be the new Iowa family crest. And I did the same some research. Geckos turns out to be a symbolize protecting one's home and family. I almost forgotten about that, to be honest. But maybe he cares about me more than I realize. Yo. Yo, sorry for the hold up. You have a cool fucking father. And yeah, the gecko on his neck right there. You feel like you're having fun. What have you been talking about? Our future's girls. It's secret. Uh, secret of future. Fuck it, girls. <laughs> Why aren't you two a pair of lady killers? Guess there's worse things to be talking about. Wait, did you get a girlfriend, Karu? That, that's not what we were talking about. Sorry. Anyway, I can't stay for long. I got errands I need to take care of. Figured I'd be nice to at least drop by instead of just tell you over the phone. What errands? Or can you not tell me? <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? It's just work stuff. Isn't that right? You should buy us something. <laughs> Yo. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Order anything you want. It's on me. Oh, okay. By the way, I'm almost done figuring out what happened with that deal we were talking about. I'm gonna meet. I'm gonna now meet up with the guy who set it all up. So I'll have to fill you in on the details some other time. <laughs> Anyways, all thanks to you. This is all thanks to you, kid. It's real nice to have a reliable part time around to help around the shop. Look, my bond with Ira is growing deeper. And now his son... Why would you say that in front of your son? Because I'm going to have to eat dinner with him and have to answer some really difficult fucking questions. Because uh, that... Goddamn. Rank 6? Rank 5? Rank 6. Nice. Okay, that's not bad. We might get him fully ranked up. All right. Uh, um, you're not going to get yourself into anything dangerous, are you? Dangerous? Of course not. Later. Well, I'm out of here. You can hang on to my roller car. Eat as much as you like. See you at home. Okay. Kara and I ate dinner together. Right. Hey, thanks for looking after Karu. With you covering for me, I actually got some good business done too. Looks like you and Karu really hit it off. Glad you two get along. He's my age, so it comes easier. I was kind of hope. That's why I was kind of hoping when I asked you to handle this. Yeah, you have a good son, did. To be honest, though, I ex things went even better than I expected. I figure out it's just getting some secured. I was just getting some security, but I guess that's not all you're good for. He's hitting the age where he's come to figure out a lot, some of which I'm sure he won't talk to me about. I was kind of hoping you can help him through that kind of thing. Well, we'll talk again later. See you. Does he not have any friends? God damn. Well, his son's a loser. <laughs> Hi. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Thanks. 